Okay, uh, this video is going to go over the basics of Works Cited Pages. Um, if you have never done a Works Cited page before, um, a Works Cited page is essentially a list of the sources that you used in your writing, um, and it is set up and formatted in a very particular way so as to make for easier access to the sources by your reader. And that's what a Works Cited page is. So let's start with some really easy basics here. Um, the work cited should be the last page of your document. It goes at the very end. Um, also, your work cited should start at the top of a brand new page. Please do not skip just a few lines and then start your work cited. So if the last page of your outline or last page of your essay um, goes just at the very top, you know, the writing just goes at the top, don't just skip a few lines and start your work cited just because you have room on that page. You need to skip all the way down to a brand new page in the document all the way at the end. Um, so here's a sample work cited and we'll, let's go over some of the things that are important. Starting with the title. The title should be works cited with an S at the end, works cited, because you will likely be citing multiple works. If you only have one work to cite, then you can, talk, you can call it a work cited without the S, but most of the time you will have uh, multiple sources to cite, so you'll want to call it a works cited. Also, the title itself is centered at the top of the page, and the W and the C are capitalized um, because it's a title. There's also no space between the title itself and the start of the actual citation. Okay. Um, another thing that's important, the entire document is double spaced, um, and there are no extra spaces between the citations. Okay. Additionally, you'll notice I highlighted the first letter of, of the start of each citation. I did that to emphasize um, that your citation should be in alphabetical order. The first one says crab, starting with a C. Second one is dangers, starting with a D. And the third one is Easterbrook, starting with an E. C, D, E. That goes in alphabetical order. Also notice, my second citation does not have an author, so instead my citation starts with the title, and so you should still organize your citations alphabetically, whether that's by the author or by the title. Hopefully you have authors, but if not, you can always go by the title. Some more formatting basics. Um, you need to have a hanging indent, okay? A hanging indent means that the first line of your citation is not indented, but every line after within that citation is indented, okay? Um, so it's when the second, third, and even fourth or fifth lines of a citation are indented, but the first one is not. Again, everything should be in alphabetical order. Um, and there are no extra spaces between each entry. Please also, I have the first letters highlighted on um, this. Do not do that on your actual work cited. I just did that for emphasis, okay? Uh, when it comes to in-text citations, something that's important to note is that whatever is listed as the first word on your work cited citation is what should go in your in-text or parenthetical citation. Usually that means the author's last name like crab. If your citation does not have an author, you'll use the first words of the title properly punctuated. So if you go back, the first, the, the first example there I have is crab, the second one is dangers of a man. If you go back to my first two citations on my sample work cited, first one is crab. So the first word in the work cited citation is what goes in the parenthetical citation within your work. The second one down, I don't have an author, so I would actually do the title, Dangers of a Man Mission to Mars. Notice, too, that it is punctuated properly. It's, a, it's a, an article title, so it should be in quotation marks. Also, I shortened the title because it was a really long one. I did that, and I indicated that I shortened it by using the ellipses. Okay, that's the three dots at the end, the dot, dot, dot. And you're welcome to do that in your parenthetical citations. Okay, quick recap. Your Works Cited page should be the last page of your document. It should start at the top of a brand new page. Again, don't just skip a few lines and start. You need to actually create a new page within your document. It should be in 12 point times your Roman font, as should the rest of your document, and it should be double spaced, again, as should the rest of your document. Please capitalize Works Cited, and the S at the end of Works indicates that you have multiple works to cite. Uh, alphabetize your citations by author's last name and or the title of the article. And please make sure to include hanging indents. And that's pretty much it for the basics of a Works Cited page.